Uh, what we're seeing right now is all that rain still focused across the central Sacramento Valley, but the amount of rain we've had so far since this storm began is just incredible. Check out some of these totals. This is why we're seeing a lot of problems over the coastal mountains over out by Sonoma right now uh, in Santa Rosa, especially more than 13 inches of rain and, uh, and this would be breaking the record for the most rain in Santa Rosa in a three day period on record. Those records uh, at the airport there in Santa Rosa go back to 1902. So very impressive. We're breaking rainfall records today in Sacramento as well. Uh, total in, in at SAC International, we have now eclipsed three inches of rain uh, at SAC International. The amounts will continue to increase as you get further south too in the San Joaquin Valley where you're a bit delayed getting into the activity. And then as you get north of I-80, north of Auburn, the amounts really ramp up as well. Grass Valley more than five and a half inches. We eclipsed eight inches of rain in Oroville paradise coming in now at 17 inches of rain. So a lot of this is enhancement off of the terrain, especially with the with the orientation of the atmospheric river interacting with the terrain. You get all of that rainfall coming down and then across the Sierra too, the snow levels continue to drop. But what we're starting to see over the last couple of hours is that band of rain that is now dripping, uh, moving down to the south, I should say, uh, down toward Modesto. That's where you're seeing some of the steadier rainfall at this hour out by Stockton to the north in Sacramento. It's fairly light right now. The snow levels continue to drop up there in the Sierra. But check this out. Castle Peak looking eastbound on 80. Uh, again, you can see all the snowfall that's coming down. Snow levels have been hovering for a bit near 7,000 feet, uh, but they've been lowering and they'll be down to about 5,000 feet for tomorrow. And then across parts of the foothills this is where we have to watch out for tonight. Uh, for additional uh, potential localized pockets of flooding because more rain is going to be focused over those same spots, especially as the system continues tapping into that moisture source. Those red streams, that's the low level jet and you can see how it's clearly coming right in here is also helping to just in the last couple hours fuel some of those higher winds that we've been seeing across parts of the foothills. This starts to move down to the south, so by 6 a.m. we'll be waking up. We'll still have some showers around. Some of these will be stubborn in the morning. I think we'll break out with some sunshine for the afternoon, but if we have more sunshine, then in turn it'll trigger potentially some thunderstorms during the afternoon hour. Something we'll be watching out for. I don't think it's going to be a washout during the day tomorrow. A lot of dry time. Great news for uh, the Causeway Classic. We still have some rain chances and some peaks of sunshine, uh, but there is still looking at some positive news right there. And even into Sunday, it's a bit of a break. The next round coming in late Sunday to Monday. So if you have to get to some destinations, for Thanksgiving travel this weekend, you'll have a lot of downtime, but Sunday to Monday, we'll see more snowfall lingering into Tuesday uh, as a result of this slow moving system. And looking at what may be several feet of snow at the passes, but there'll be a sharp cutoff when you get below 6,000 feet with respect to that snowfall. And we're going to break down those snowfall totals more in depth here next half hour. Tuesday is a first alert action day, mainly for the Sierra snowfall, and then thankfully, for Thanksgiving, things start to turn around and something we can be grateful for this year.